Hello guys, today I'll be showing you how to rip your pocket station BIOS for use of an emulator PKMU or PK201 Right, so let's get started There's a few prerequisites for ripping your BIOS You're gonna need, it, gonna need either a chipped PS1 or a modded PS2, chipped PS2, whatever um, You're gonna wanna use ULAN shelf for the PS2 or for the PS1 you're gonna need um, obviously a modded PS1 and a way of transferring the save to the um, pocket station so you can use either a parallel port and a computer if um, you still have some development stuff kicking around or you can use the um, PS3 to PS1 adapter and a lot of tools on Orion Soft and I'll put that uh, video uh, sorry that link in the video description so um yeah so basically what you need is software wise you'll be needing um PSX raw converter the PK BIOS tool from Orion Soft and a hex editor and obviously also your emulator which you want to use I'm just using PK201 and um so basically you download these all um extract them so you open your PK BIOS tool folder, you'll have something like this. What you want to do is you want to copy this MCS file into the raw converter. And as you see, I've done it before, but it doesn't matter. And then you just run the tool. Just drag it, this file, on top of the um, EXE and it'll create a raw file for you and you just um, the tool you get with a PS1, the CD you burn which, which uh, you need to be modded or chipped or whatever to use um, comes with this already when you build the CD if you're using the PS2 where using free MC boot and you launch alpha or something like that you'll want to do this because you can't just copy an MCS to a PS1 memory card it has to be in a raw format so uh, copy that onto your USB stick you know um, launch up your launch shelf and copy it onto your pocket station pretty simple um, I'm not going to show uh, tell you I'll show you how to do that because there's tons of guys on the internet no point in um, repeating any information and yeah PS1 way is you burn a CD um, it's not too complicated again it's on the uh, Orion site as well I'll put his link in the video description and then what you want to do is you want to close it you want to obviously copy that to USB and put it on your pocket station and then you want to run the PK BIOS tool on your pocket station and press dump and then press checksum and make a note of the um, model the J number you get like uh, for my for instance mine is a J110 make a um, note of that and then once you've done that dumped it um, copy it back over um, now if you're on a PSX you can use either for parallel port and copy it back over or you can use a PS3 to PS1 memory adapter drivers are on Orion site um, it only works so far it only works with the um, Sony official one um, I don't know if it works with any of us so just down um, pot look basically if you want to use a third party one and um, as you can see I've got one here copy that over and you copy that over and then um, can't open this file um, one thing you could do is try to convert it into back to a normal memory card and then take out the last two blocks because um, that's where the BIOS is stored and basically this tool um, is takes up three blocks and the last two blocks will contain your BIOS when you dump your BIOS and so what I did was I converted it back to a normal memory card and for some reason I couldn't get the last two blocks so um, I'm just going to use a hex editor instead and what you do is you open this in the hex editor drag it over now this is three blocks um, and we want the last two blocks this is a um, 600 in hex, uh, that's the length of it. 
So um, just do a bit of mathematics and you find out that um, skip the first block and each block is 2000 because 6000 divided by 3 is 2000 and basically uh, this save is um, 3 blocks and the first save contains garbage so 0 to 199 uh, nine is um, all garbage um, so let me scroll up to that find 2000 there we go and just copy 4000 copy it create a new file and paste it in and then for a uh, service as um, Ikerum save it I'm just going to save mine to the desktop uh, no point messing around and here's my PK201 no Ikerum I'm just going to prove it to you no Ikerum you know it's not going to work so cop copy that over close it down open it again and uh, now when I run there we go it's all working and um, thank you very much for watching this video if you have any more questions you can just send me a message but um, yeah that's how to rip the bios off your pocket station thank you very much guys